In this video, we will discuss how we can find the top view and the bottom view of a binary tree using recursive method. So we are given this binary tree. The top view will be those nodes which are visible when we view the tree from the top. So the nodes that will be visible are H, D, A, Z, C and B. Because node K will be hidden by node D, so K is not visible. L will be hidden by node A. So L is not visible and P will be hidden by node Z. So P is not visible. So the top view will consist of nodes H, D, A, Z, C, B. And the bottom view will consist of those nodes which would be visible when we view this tree from the bottom. So the nodes that would be visible are H, K, L, P, C and B. Because D will be hidden by node K. So D is not visible. A will be hidden by node L and Z will be hidden by node P. So the bottom view consists of nodes H, K, L, P, C, B. So given a tree, we have to find the top view and the bottom view. Let's see the algorithm for finding out these views. First, we'll check the top view. So the top view can be found both by recursive method and by iterative method. Here we'll focus on the recursive approach. So when we are viewing this tree from the top, those nodes will be hidden which have another node on top of them. So node D is in top of node K. So K is hidden, A is in top of L and Z is on top of P. So what this algorithm does is it finds out the distance of all the nodes from the root of the tree. So this is the vertical line from the root node. And now we have to find the horizontal distance for each node from the root node. So let's say the coordinates of root are zero. If we consider this as x axis, so this distance will be minus one. This distance will be minus two. On the right side, it will be plus one. For C, it will be two. And for B, it will be three. So let's write down the distances here. A is at zero, Z is at one, C is at two, B is at three. So we can see that D and K both are at minus one distance. Z and P both are at one distance and node A and L both are at zero distance. So when we have two nodes which are at the same horizontal distance from the root node, only one of them would be visible. And the node which would be visible is which has a lower level than the other node. This is level zero. This is level one. This is level two. This is level three. Node D is at level one and K is at level three. So out of node D and K, D has a lower level. So D would be visible. Now Z has a level of one and P has a level of three. Out of Z and P, Z has a lower level. So Z would be visible. And out of A and L, A has a level of zero and L has a level of two. So A would be visible. So the node which has a lower level that would be visible in the top view because that node would be on top of the node that has a higher level. So to find out the top view we will make use of level and distance. Now let's have a look at the pseudocode. So in the first step we create a map that stores pair of node and level corresponding to distance from the root. Then we have this function top view which takes three parameters a node of the tree a variable distance and a variable level. So the first call to this function will be for the parameters node A distance and level is zero for the root node. We come inside and we check if node is null. Then we check if the map contains key for zero or not. So map is initially empty. So we come inside and we create a new mapping for zero distance. We create a pair of node A and level zero. So zero key in map belongs to node a comma zero. Then we call the stop view function with the left of a which is D and the parameters minus one and one. So we go to D and distance is minus one and the level is one. Now the node is D we check if node is null then we check if the map contains key for minus one or not. So map has no key for minus one. So we come in the if condition and we create a new mapping for node D and level one. So minus one maps to node D and level one. 
after this we call the top if function with the left of d which is h and the parameters minus 2 and 2 so at h the distance is minus 2 and the level is 2 now we come to h we call this top if function we check if the node is null and then we check if the map contains key for minus 2 or not so map has no key for minus 2 we come inside and then we create a new key for minus 2 with the node h and level 2 so minus 2 maps to h comma 2 after this we call the top if function for the left of h which is null when the node is null we return from here so for the left and right of h we call for null and then we return back to the h so now the function called to h ends the control goes back to d now for node d we have to process the right subtree so right of d is l the distance at d was minus 1 and the level was 1 so we come to node l and at l the distance is 0 and the level is 2 we check if the node is null and then we check if the map contains key for 0 or not so the map already has key for 0 so we check the second condition in the if statement the value in map is greater than level so the value in map is 0 which is less than level so this if condition is false so now we call this top if function for the left of l which is k the distance is minus 1 and the level is 3 so from l we go to k here the distance is minus 1 and the level is 3 so now the node is k distance is minus 1 level is 3 we check if the node is null then we check if the map contains mapping for minus 1 or not so the map has mapping for minus 1 then we check the second condition in this statement the value in map is greater than level so value in map is 1 which is less than 3 so this if condition is false so after that we call the left of k so left of k is null when the node is null we return from here so for the left and right of k we call for null and then we return back to k so now the function call to k ends the control goes back to l and now for l we have to process the right subtree the right of l is p the distance at l is 0 and the level is 2 so we come to p here the distance is 1 and the level is 3 we check if the node is null then we check if the map contains mapping for distance 1 so there is no mapping for 1 so now we create a mapping for node p and level 3 so 1 maps to p comma 3 and then we call this top view function with the left of p which is null so left of p is null the function call goes for null and then it returns back to p similarly the function call goes for right of p which is null and the control goes back to p so now the function call at p terminates the control goes back to l function call to l terminates control goes back to d the call to d ends control goes back to a and now for node a we have to call the right subtree so right of a is z the distance is 1 and the level is 1 so we go to z where the distance is 1 and the level is 1 we check if the node is null and then we check if the map contains mapping for distance which is 1 so there is already a key for 1 which maps to p comma 3 so we check the second condition in this statement so the value in map is 3 which is greater than level so this is true so we come inside and we change the value for m1 now it will map to z comma 1 so this is replaced by z comma 1 and then we call for the left of z so left of z is null so we call for null and the control goes back to z and then we call for the right of z which is c here the distance is 2 and the level is 2 from z we go to c we check if the node is null and then we check if the map contains mapping for 2 so there is no key for 2 so we create a new key which maps to c comma 2 then we call for the left of c which is null so we call for null and the control goes back to c and then we call for the right of c the control comes to b where the distance is 3 and the level is also 3 we check if the node is null and then we check if there is a mapping for distance 3 or not so there is no key for 3 so we create a new key with node b and level 3 and then we call for the left and right of b so left and right both are null so the control comes back to b 
function called to b and control goes back to c function called to c and control goes to z the function called to z end and the control goes to a and at a the recursion terminates and the last step of the algorithm is we have to print all the values in the map so these are the values in the map so the map in c plus plus or java is sorted so it will be sorted based on the key so the keys are minus 2 is mapped to h minus 1 is mapped to d 0 is mapped to a 1 is mapped to z 2 is mapped to c and 3 is mapped to b so this is the top view which we have for this tree so node h d a z c and b so the use of the map is to pick the node which is at the same horizontal distance from the root but is on the upper level like for the nodes a and l z and p d and k if we look at the time complexity of this method the time complexity is order of n log n because there are n number of nodes and the log n is the insertion time that it takes to insert in a map so now we have seen the method to find out the top view using recursion let's see what are the changes that would be required to print the bottom view so when we view this tree from the bottom we'll see the nodes h k l p c and b so d will be hidden by k a will be hidden by l and z will be hidden by p so the code in the bottom view is similar to the top view the only difference being in the if statement here you have to check if the value in map is lesser than the level so this is the only difference here because we are viewing the tree from the bottom so we have to pick those nodes which are at a higher level so this is at level 0 this is at level 1 this is at level 2 and this is at level 3 so a is at level 0 and l is at level 2 so out of a and l we have to pick l so if the value in the map is lesser than the new value then we will update the map so only this step is different everything else is the same as the top view so once we have understood this recursive method let's have a look at the implementation all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i create the tree the root node is a and the left of root is d so in this manner i initialize all the nodes of the tree then i create a map the key is an integer and the value is a pair of node value and the level then i have this function top view in which i pass the root node this map the distance and the level both are zero initially in this function top view i check if the node is null then i check if the distance is present in the map or the value present in the map is greater than the level if that is the case i update the value of map then i call this function top view for the left subtree so for the left distance will be minus and the level will be incremented and then i call this top view function for the right subtree here the distance will be incremented and the level is also incremented and for the bottom view only difference is in the if condition so here i am updating the map if the key is not present or the existing key is less than the level in those cases i will update the value in the map everything else is the same as the top view and then in the main function i print the values of the map now let's have a look at the output of this program so top view of the tree is hta zcb and the bottom view is hkl pcb so that was all for this video if you have any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below if you like my content please do like share and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is sandeep thapar signing off